Luke 23, 43. Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. In Luke's gospel, we read that two criminals were crucified along with Jesus. The first one mocked Jesus, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the second criminal rebuked the first one. To paraphrase, he said, Hey, you and I deserve this punishment, but he hasn't done anything wrong. Then he asked Jesus to remember him when he came into his kingdom. Jesus' response is the subject of my reflection today. Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. You will be with me in paradise. The two sinners, one on either side of Jesus, certainly provided a sharp contrast to Jesus, who was without sin. But they also provided a sharp contrast to each other. The first one was brazen and unrepentant, but the second sinner was humble and was acutely aware of his guilt. First, he publicly acknowledged his sin, and then he recognized Jesus' kingship. By those two simple acts, he met the requirements to be with Christ in paradise, a place of rest, to enjoy the glorious presence of God after death. We know this is true because Jesus emphasized that assuredly you will be with me in paradise. Assurance is a promise, a promise Jesus made to the sinner on the cross next to him through God's grace. And he makes the same promise to us today. God's love and mercy is freely given through the sacrifice of his son to all mankind all we need to do is receive it. In the first chapter of Ephesians, we read, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. The second sinner could have remained silent, knowing that he too could be mocked by the first sinner. Instead, he spoke up in boldness and in faith. And by God's grace, he was saved. He had nothing to gain by speaking up. And yet, by speaking up, he gained everything. In chapter 4 of Hebrews, we are told, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. We're going through a time of need right now. This is a crazy, unprecedented world we live in. I wear a face mask to go into the grocery store and the drug store. When life is passing by at its normal pace, we occupy ourselves with worries that often deal with mundane matters. Now that we are stopped dead in our tracks, we are forced to face what was true all along, that life is fragile and we are not in control of anything. We are forced to be humble. One of my favorite verses is found in James chapter 4. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. We are being forced to face our own mortality. The second sinner on the cross next to Jesus was close to death when he was saved. Just think about it. The clock was ticking. Just a few minutes longer and it would have been too late. But thankfully, he did not let that last opportunity pass him by. The knowledge that God is always in charge in the midst of this pandemic and in any other trial that we face should bring us peace which passes all understanding. We have that assurance, assuredly, just like the sinner did, that if we repent of our sins and receive Christ is our Savior, he, we will be with him in paradise. And in the meantime, he will be with us. I'd like to close with some words from the morning prayer service, page 101. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone 
might come within reach of your saving embrace. Amen.